problem then from a different point of view. Instead of starting with looking at the forces, we can just calculate the field straight away. We can say the charges produce a field in the region around them. We can calculate those fields. And then if we choose to put a charge at the location in a region of space where there's a field, the charge will experience a force. But we don't need to start with this picture of getting the force directly. We can calculate fields directly. See how we can do that for the for the last problems. The problem where you have charge Q1, Q2, Q3, and maybe many more, many more charges. What if you want to get the electric field at point P? You can get the electric field directly at point P due to charge one. So this is E at point P due to charge Q1. It's KEQ1, the charge with its sign divided by the distance between charge Q1 and point P squared times the unit vector that points from Q1 to point P. This is the electric field at point P due to charge 1. We can get the electric field at point P due to charge 2, and we know how to do that. We can get the electric field at point P due to charge 3, we know how to do that. We know from the principle of superposition of fields, we know how to get the total electric field at that point P. You just get it by adding the electric field vectors due to each of the charges. If you have more charges, you just add the field due to those charges too. So once we get this total electric field vector at point P, uh, which is the sum of the electric field vectors of each charge, if we decide, we don't have to, but if we decide to put a charge Q at point P, then we can find the force on that charge Q. And the force will be given as the charge times the electric field. In this case, it's a positive charge, so we write it as positive magnitude of Q times E. And of course, then in this case, the force will be in the same direction as the field. If we to put a negative charge at point P, then the force will be the charge in this case, it's minus magnitude of Q times E, so it'll, the force will be opposite the electric field, so it will be pointing this direction. 